Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. Yesterday we had the engine sitting in the Thunderbird. Uh, now we've got it out sitting on the floor. What has happened is um, I pulled it back out. Doug helped me pull it back out. If you hear any noise in the background, Doug is working on the trailer, still doing a few things. We sandblasted that this morning. And uh, we sandblasted the transmission this morning. Uh, we got that cleaned up, we got, took them back apart. But what's going on is, if Joey wants to come down here and take a lean down and take a look with me. When I tack the motor mounts in, the little, see the little bars there with the, t with the pipe on it? Uh, that's the motor mounts where, where the engine sets in. And it's, it's, it looks a little crooked. And what, ha what has happened is I used smaller bolts uh, to shove in the motor mounts and to do the mounts and it did not give me a true read. I don't like the look, look what's going on. I do not like it. Um, but when I pulled the engine out, it was level and looked really good. Um, but now what, what's, what we're going to do today is we're going to make the mounts look like something. I really wasn't, um, yeah, I just kind of tacked them in there for now so to see where I need to go. On this side, I really like this one here. Um, and the reason I like this one here is got a little lean back to it. Like if they say a little three degrees back so the engine oil will run down the back. Um, the header was missing on from the steering box about, we'll say a little better than an eighth of an inch. So I can't go any more than that way. Um, this, this mount over here I, I do not like because it's tucked down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I have, I have the mount that I originally got with, um, or I originally bought with the motor mounts that are on the engine. Um, we have, that's this the mount, them are the mounts that, that came with it or that I bought with it as a kit. Um, they're on the engine, we're not using this, and the reason I'm not using this is because on this front end you can see that the lower control arm is applied to that cross member. So there's, there's no taking that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the mounts look like they should. We're going to clean them up and make them look really good. So, but what I'm going to do first is, is I'm going to make the mounts look better, just, just look better. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these bolts in here. That kind of fits really nice in those. There's not, not much of a movement when I put those in there. We did not have them big ones. Um, I'm going to take a piece of square stock. I'm going to weld it from this, this bolt to this bolt. Cut a piece off like that. Then I'm going to take the two bolts, the piece of square stock well together. Then I'm going to take it in inside the car. And I'm going to cut that one free a little bit. I'm going to apply that one there. And then I'm going to use a level. And I'm going to go for it and, and straighten this one out a little bit to make it look good. So I'm just going to um, use the mount that I originally bought to straighten that out and make it look good. And then we'll start closing it in to make it look like something. It's really hard to get in there and weld that mount. This might be something that I just keep. Um, keep it like this and that way there I would know at all times where the mounts are. So I'm just going to apply that on there like that. We'll stick a dab of weld on it. Then we'll have the bolts exactly where the mounts are supposed to be. And then we'll take it in there and we'll transfer. Um, you might just well leave that right there. We'll drag everything out. Get that back on my normal setting. Bring this over here. Jolene looks amazing today, as always. A little pair of Daisy Dukes on. Traditional Rod and Custom shirt on. I think it's Eli's shirt. Yep. Eli's the guy we went to in, where, where is that, New Hampshire, is it? Yep. New Hampshire that had the, the, the beautiful sign collection and the traditional custom hot rods he was building that he was doing a fabulous job, fabulous job on. Fabulous! So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tack that on the top of that bolt. 
Stop it. Stop it. Now, hoping stuck in there. That'll straighten her out, though, as I pull it out. Turn that off. I'm not really doing that well. Now, as I have that on there, I got, now I got it working good there. Now it's coming off good. I'm gonna attack it again, maybe. Why is it changing on me? All right. So I'm gonna do, attack it again. The reason I'm going to tack it again is because it could be off just a little bit where I put the heat to it. It would obviously bend. We'll put a little bit of heat on this thing. Slides on there nice. What happens is, just want a true read, that's all. Just jamming it up, pulling one side on quicker than the other. That's all, that's all that's going on. There. Now, what I'm looking for is I'm looking to make that look nicer. These bolts here, we got a little play in there. That's nice. And you can see how that one's down and that one's up. And what's going on is these mounts have, they're slotted. You can see these mounts here are slotted. That's how we got them to fit in there because they're slotted. And you can see that. And that's okay, they're slotted. It helped me get it in there, but it didn't give me a true read on the amount. So what I'm gonna do is, so I'm gonna knock that off. And then do that. It says that mount's way out of place, it does. And um, this mount over here, I do not want to change this mount. And the reason being is because the header was that far away. So that mount there looks like it's gonna have to be changed. Let's pull this out. Slide that back in. Beautiful. That's what I want. That's what I want. The mount that is underneath, um, I thought about cutting it off before I put it in. I uh, didn't really take the time to do that. 
But in, in actual fact, I'll just, I'm going to cut that off flush with that, and I'm going to put metal to that, and this will be metal down there. We'll use this mount as a gusset, and we'll make them look as clean as possible. We'll make them look as clean as possible to uh, make them look so they're not just jerry-rigged in there. And uh, what I mean by clean as possible is I will take um, flat stock, and I will fill them in so it looks good. And uh, everything fit. Um, we had a nice straight motor in there. The transmission fit up front. Uh, it did, it fit. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna take a little slice here. Now, I'm going to jam that in there a little bit. I have, I want to leave that on there with a little bit. I'll get a pry bar. I want to see if I can pry it around and leave it in place. I'm not sure if that'll work or not. But we're going to. We've got our true reed right here. Beautiful. Not as beautiful as Jolene, but beautiful. All right. Now. I still have I gotta be careful on this because I don't want I don't want to move um, I want this in the right spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just mark a line. I'm going to mark a line with the, with the zip cut. So if I move it, it goes straight up. I'm going to put it on here. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to cut it off and, and move it up and use this one because I like this one. And we'll make this one the same with this bar, and then we'll do it that way. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take it off, I guess. Clean her up. Still got my line. bend anything. Yeah, it isn't. 
that's a hard one. And the reason I say that's a hard one is because Here we go. It's not giving me a real good true read, is it? I've got to go back on that line, though. bent that a little bit. Now on this side, this is a tricky thing going I got going on here. That's right out nice with that. This one could be bent up also. There wasn't a true read on either one of them. There was not a true read on either one of them. And, but I cannot move that one there. It's because of that there. It was that far away. And if I move that, well then I'm in trouble. This one over here, I feel like I move. I had quite a bit of space. But I am not getting the same, the same actions. I was. This one's on there a little bit. Clicking. If I put that in there. Doug saying? <laughs> okay, what's not making me happy is that's not going back on my line and that I got a gap going on there. And also, I have to get this level. Okay. See what happens here. I'm not sure if one's further back further than the other or not. They look pretty straight across there. They look the same. Ah, my little my little levels over here. Jumped out for no reason. And so what would be happening um, where this is not straight, this one here would probably Really weird. <laughs> I'm in a, in a little bit of a kerfussle here. Because it was sitting in there really good. It was. It's not level anymore. It's nowhere near where it's supposed to be on the... Got myself in a mess. Sort of, a little bit. Just checking it where it was welded on there before.
just looking and seeing if this cross member is in here straight or not. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go right there. Up there, ways. Back on my line. There's my line right there. Say anything because I'm trying to figure it out. Now, that's that's the true read right there. That's where <laughs> it says it wants to be. How come you want to keep that line on that side the same? How come I want to keep that line the same? Mm. Because that's that's where it, that's where the end like that's where it fit. Like that's, I kept that line there because that's where it fit. Mm. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. Like that's where it, um, that's where it fit. You know what I'm trying to tell you? You know what I'm saying? But the engine was in there good the way I had it. Mm -hmm. But you didn't like the, how that was lined up on that How you making it up, Doug? I woke up today, Joe's violence. I broke your part. <laughs> <laughs> I broke your... Did you? You chose violence, did you? <laughs> you chose violence. It's warm up there. No doubt. I think I'm going to go there. Then I have to put the motor back and try it again. And that's what I'm going to do. Actually, why don't I just do that? Put it right in like that. Looks better to me. That's over there on that. Looks way better. That's where it's going. Just like that. Alrighty, that turn. Right, I'm gonna cut a little bit off the square stock and let this down a little bit on this side. And the reason being is, come take a look. So I am going to put it, this is where it's going. This is where it's going, just like that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the true read, and the true read is exactly where I'm sitting in there right now. That's the true read, because you can tell by the, what I have the piece here. It fit that piece over there, so it, it's got to fit um, the, the engine. So I'm going with that. What I have not got a true read is, come take a look. I have not got a true read here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little bit off that square stock and just let that down just a little tiny bit. And then I'm going to apply it back in there. Let's turn this around. See what happens then.
Does not make a difference. Does not make a difference. All right. I take this off. Just had to play with my brain for a bit. This is giving me the true read, so I'm going to go with it. That side's going to be fine. We'll uh, clean this off a little bit so I can weld it up. Just had to make up my mind because it was not in the right place. And the reason it wasn't in the right place is because I had too small of a bolt, and it's in them in the in the hole, which is oblong. I'm going to take a look, knock a little bit, do this again. That's where it's going, just like that. But what I'm going to do is, like I said, why is that not? <laughs> That's weird. It's not hitting on that now. Did I have it the other side was hitting? Maybe I had it this way and it was hitting. Just a little bit longer. That's why. The square stalks a little bit longer. Let's see if this one will work. Shave a little bit off this. It's hitting on this piece right here, holding it up. So I'm going to shave a little bit off it. Before I do weld it in there, I'll try it back on. I'll try it back on our map. Just have to get it level, that's all. Come take a look. Here's what I want. I want it level. And that's where it is, it's level. Now I'm happier. Much happier. I'm going to weld that on there like that. Does it matter, like that bar that you have? Does it, because you've flipped it quite a few times? This piece? Yeah. Like, does it fit that mount on the floor the same way? It, it would fit the mount on the floor the same way, but you can, this is what's going on. Joey's asking me, why am I flipping this piece and using this piece and that side and this side and that side and this side? This square stock, I've got welded on this one. It's short. If you know the bolt is welded here, it's short. On this one here, it's welded on there, it's long. 
See how long it is there? Mm -hmm. What's happening is when I turn it to the other side, this square stock is hitting on that mount, which is holding it up. So I flipped it over and have a shorter piece. Now it's hot hitting. If I turned it over, it hit it again. It should give me the true read again, still exactly where, um, where I'm going here. And then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get out and um, check it again because I, 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 I pried on it a little bit. We're going to leave that mount just like that. That's where that mount's going, just like that. But I want to put it on that thing again, try it again, just to make sure I didn't bend it out of, out of its way uh, to make it fit. And what's going on, see this piece here, that's short, that one's short on that one. Mm -hmm. And that one's long, and this end here was hitting that so it wouldn't let it go down. So, that works, right? That works, still working, it's in place. Ah. It's caught up though when you get it going straight out though. <laughs> so. It's good. Let's put it back in. Let's get our welder going. Just took a minute for me to figure it out. That's all. And I think that I got it figured out. Also, with, uh, with the transmission off, now I can try the engine back in there without transmission off, without messing around and all that sort of stuff. And where I've got it in there, one fitting, it should be okay. Like I said before, these mounts here are, are quite oblong there. And I was using small bolts put the engine on so I wasn't getting a true read of where the engine should be sitting. That's why they look so crooked. And I didn't like the look of that crookedness when I hauled the motor out. But in the end, um, when I did haul the motor out, the motor was in the exact place it should have been, if you know what I'm trying to say. It was, it was level, it was, it was um, lean down right, 3% probably, uh, and it was the right distance for the transmission. Uh, the transmission was hitting on this. There's a little, uh, this, this was fine. This was lined up, but this little flange here, I think we're gonna bend that over with the hammer. We might even give it a little split, a little split and knock it over, bend it over, give us a little bit more room to go up in there. The hole for the transmission is good. I marked it before I took it out. Nope, we're going to put the short one on that side, remember? Now, we know that the engine's going to fit in there. And the re reason we know the engine's going to fit in there is because... We need a level. Beautiful. You are generally beautiful. Um, we're good. We're level. We're good. Wait, stop it. Did I put a ground on? Doug, we wouldn't patch that ground, please and thank you. Yeah, it does help, doesn't it? <laughs> I always like to be grounded, buddy. I always, always like, like to be grounded. grounded. How's the weather out there? It's hot as Beautiful. Beautiful, so. Stuff does move when you weld it, that's for sure. Come take a look at the bubbles we have. Yeah. You want to come take a look? It does. So we've got a really good bubble going on there. And we look like we have a nice, looks good. Um, we have a true read for the holes for the engine because that actually fit that over there, so we should be really good. I'm going to knock this on a little bit better.
tucked under my pants, see that? Alrighty, this one's knocked on there pretty good. No, it's knocked on there really good. What I like too, it's nice and straight across here. I'm designing it up, nice and straight going across here. Take that off. And my helmet there for a sec, sweetheart. Now that I have it level, and I have a true reed, because down there, now I'm gonna to start to clean it up to make it look like something. So I'm just gonna cut the front of this off. The original mounts that are there, that's all gusseted down there. What I mean by gusset, it's got a triangle down there. It's got a triangle on this side and all that stuff. There's no sense in me cutting that off when I can use it. It's gonna be, um, to make that look good on that round bar would be in that wide, would be sort of, what? I don't think it would look that good. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off. I'll weld this all to this, and then I'll fill the piece in the back to make it look good. Let's cut it off. I cut my put a little mark and my control arm. Didn't want to do that. Let's cut this one off. I ruined my supercator saw yesterday, didn't I, baby? Mm -hmm. So it's pretty hard for me to. Ooh, I got some big six inch wheels. Want me to get one? What? Want me to get it? Yes. Yeah. If you want to, they're over in that box. You know what I mean? Six inch zip cut. Mm -hmm. Big suckers at, um, yeah. John Shepard. Is it John? I never used one of these before. You're gonna have to watch your fingers or cut my fingers off. You ever see a zip cut like that? <laughs> Ooh, that's a badass zip cut that is. Ooh. You want gloves? What? You want some gloves? Yeah, I'm just trying to cut them. Ooh, they were scary. <laughs> Woo! Scary! That's scary stuff. Stop it, Doug. Watch yourselves here. Away.
You want to be careful using them ones, I can tell you that. I probably should have a pair of gloves on them bad boys, but... Here comes something else in there. Now, now that I've got them cut off, now I'm going to use that. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Doug, you done with that, that uh, flapper wheel? Yes, sir. Can I have it? Sure can. It's not very pretty at the moment, is it? No, it's not. We'll get the flapper wheel on, then we'll make something that comes down around here. We can weld that on there to make that look nice. And we'll cap the front and we'll use the mount that's there. Um, oh. I showed who was boss. Was Did you? Did you show who was boss? <laughs> yeah. That's good enough. Scooby Dooby Doo. Yep. What's up yet? Now, get me to get out. I'm gonna get a piece of paper and try to make them look like something, I guess. Now. I actually should try that put that engine back in there and see what it looks like. So what I should do. I know it fits, but one thing I know for sure is I puckered up the mount on this one. It's got a little sharp spot on it. Piece of paper. So I'll do like this.
Doug, be so kind to hand me a pair of scissors. Right off a pair of scissors right on that wall there, please. Be so kind. Right on that right on that board over there. There. Yeah. You're getting closer. You'll see them. Look towards the red thing. They're hanging up on the red thing. Why are you looking for me, Joe? Yeah, there we go. Sorry, Joe. Thank you. No worries, Douglas. No worries. Let Mark again. Keep her scissors in your pocket, too, right? No. They hurt when you sit down. You'll be okay. These are these scissors for trimming nose hairs. <laughs> I probably have my sideburns trimmed by them suckers, haven't I? <laughs> I have that. Had the mark outside. And then I can weld it right down in there. That is it. I'm sure if I like that. Doug sounds like he's on Sesame Street. So basically we'll do that. That way there I can weld that along there, weld it along there, and weld it along there, and I can weld it in there. And then it'll cap that mount off, and then you really won't see all that stuff underneath it. But yet this will all be gusset, so it's not going anywhere. I, I actually would like it to come down around here more and, and come down here. So I'd add a little bit to this side. I'm going to do that right now. Did you want to take the tires off that Douglas or? Well, if you if you want the jacks right there, if you want to take the tires off it, okay, I'm, am I'm sure. Are you sure? Well, you're you're more than welcome. And the electric um, impact is right there. Thank you. A little better piece. That looks better. Now when I put that in there, when you look at it, or you look underneath the car, you look in there, that mount's not going to look that bad. And I also, I also can take a piece and then put a piece on here uh, to cap that off so that all looks nice. When you look up inside the car, um, you're not, you're not going to see anything up in, when you look up inside the car, you're not going to see anything here. Is this going to be closed off? It'll be closed off from the front, and then I can close it off from the back. So once I get this welded on, then I would take a piece and put it in there and close that off so it looks like a nice square box mount on top of that. And I just use this stuff to mount it too because that way there this piece is going down. You're not going to see up in there. Alrighty. I might even grab Doug and try to put that engine in first. I think I, I, think I better. And just for shits and giggles. I know it's going to fit. But is it going to fit exactly where I want it to fit? Doug, you're going to help me for a minute, old buddy? Sure. Thank you. All right. All right. Let's put the engine back in. Oh. And the reason I want to put the engine back in is because I cut that one mount off. And then I put it back in again because I didn't like how crooked it was. Which one? That one oh. there. Yeah, that's what I want. I hope it's a great one. <laughs> well, the only reason I didn't cut the other one off is because, like I said, the, uh, the header was... Touching nurse here. Was an eight. Yeah. So if I cut that one off, then I don't know if I'm going over too far, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Gotcha. So have you got your little uh, stool for the. 
stool. Little stool. Grab a stool. I oh, know you don't need that. I just need a stool. We'll put the back. We'll put the motor back in just to see if we got it right. See if it looks right. Do you want to do that tilt thing right now? Get it tilted so it looks about, about right. Give her any, what? You put an impact on? No. <laughs> Something like this, something like this, I'd rather do it with a ratchet. And just the reason being is you get stupid moving stuff too fast with this sort of stuff, man, you can get hurt. Whoa, that's good. Good, good, that's good, good. No, no, we don't want to do that. I just don't want to go too fast, that's all. Well, heavy equipment, man. Now, them two bolts that I had, we'll use smaller ones because we want it to fit. You got a bolt for, got a bolt for this side, and we got a bolt for the other side. You got two bolts. You want one there, one there. I'm thinking that'll fit. Huh? Just want to see if you put the engine in right. That's all. Just throw it in. yet just a second let's, let's clean I gotta, I gotta clean some tools out of here and it'd be a lot easier to put in the transmission so we'll know everything worked out really good yesterday with everything like it kind of it fit to be honest with you I'm gonna to have to make a wild looking shifter but awesome. Doug said I can do it you don't do it all day huh you don't do it all day how's that all right <laughs> all right nice and in there closer and then we'll there. Will that fit on that one? On this one, yeah. Might have to tilt it a little bit. If you want to stack the bolt into it. Right there there's Can you get a bolt in it? Almost. Throw it through the front. Wherever you however you think you yeah, can stand just a little bit. Don't like matter which way you go. Watch yeah, yourself, okay? Down, down just a little bit, pal. Just, just watch yourself. That's yep. all I'm asking you. Yep, it's all good, man. Can you get in? Down just a little bit, buddy. There you go. Slow. It's in one hole. Okay. Let's, let's... Oh, we're gonna... Let's let's put the other side on, or in, or close to it, or something. Second. 
go down. Just go down. Want me to jack it up? Pull it over? Yeah. I got it? Too much, man. There we go. Now that one's in, but not all the way through. Okay. That's fine. I That's can't fine. see through the other hole. And I don't want to just bracket it. Alrighty, we're still off that. Perfect. Perfect. Love it. You like that? Well, yeah, I'm happy with that because now the mask looks, now that looks really good. Awesome. Now I'm happy with it. Now I know it's going to work, right? It's just I didn't know. Well, it worked before. It's just I never had a really good true read on it. So yeah. um, let's pull the, it's still off. We're still off our thing over here. Perfect. It's so got a little bit of room here. In, your in the top. center of the car. It's nice and level. It still has a little bit of play on both arms too, doesn't it? It does. It can go either just a little bit. All right, let's pull that bolt back out. Excellent. Can we pull that bolt back out? Or? All right, and then we'll go to the other side. Now we'll, now we'll cut the piece out of a piece of uh, my pattern that I need. That one coming out? Yep. Yes. That's, that's the way we, we want... Yeah, that's what yes. I like. We had a sort of a hard time to get it out. The reason being is we had so much play there. If you want to hold the engine there, Doug, coming up straight, and then I'll just put, yank it up and yank it out. Yank it up and yank it out. That's generally some of the issues. Some of you just set the engine in, get it leveled up, weld your mount on it, you know, and then pull it back out. You should pretty well have it. But when I pulled it out, I did not like the reed that I had, so. You've seen what I did to fix my problem. And uh, we fixed it. I'm very happy with it. Good job, man. Well, thank you, Doug. Well, thank you. And the piece that I made there with the, the bolts and the, and the three quarter inch square stock, I could basically keep that for the next time. I'm up there far enough? I think so, yes. Just gonna let it down some. Much happier, much happier. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my little pattern that I made. Now where'd I put that pattern I made? It was, it was sitting right there, man, up on the steering box. I know, but I made two. This one is the one I think I want. I'm pretty sure this is the one. That is the one. I've got a piece of... I think that that plate there is probably good enough. But let's see what I got going on here. Lots good. Lots good. plate of some just want to see if I have any thicker, thicker or any smaller This here is a little thicker than that, so I'm going to go with this. It's probably, it's other, it's not 8, it's probably 14, 
which should be lots. I've got quarter inch plate there. Uh, they've only, or 316 plate there. They've only got 316 there with no gussets. Um, we're, we got 316 on ours, but we're going to also have gussets. So, just to show you what I'm doing. I really don't want to get into that slag, really. <laughs> Doug out there, talking to himself. Oh, let's put that like that. Let's use this walloping web snapper of a grinder. Ooh. I have any gloves right there close? I have a, a socket here, Doug, that probably... I, I didn't know what socket was. I guess. Yeah. Like so. Just a minute. Good to go. Are you, are you good to go? Yeah. I have a... I'll take whatever you want to give me, bud. Yeah, you got her. You got her. If you got the socket, you got her. Thanks, bud. No, four. that we'll weld that along there along there and then we'll come down and weld that all the way along the front so that closes that up really nice and then when you're looking at it this way we can actually shorten that up a bit and around that corner off around that corner off don't really want to do another body job on it, but if I keep smashing it, I probably will. <laughs> I 
And when I put that piece on, you think it's close to the control arm, but the, the mount they have on there themselves now has a close control arm because the, the pivot point is right there. It does not affect anything. That's the job to make it look good. See right 45 it got the place for the weld. I might have to, I'm gonna bring that piece in. I might have to be a little long there. Just gonna weld it along the front here. Make it, so this piece is going down. I'm gonna weld this along the front. Is there a hammer right close by? We have a I'm out now. I'm out. Trying to make it tight. So, I'm really going to do that. I'm going to cut that off. So basically it's not really, what can I say, it's giving it strength, but more than anything it's kind of just making it look better than having it look like that. If I didn't have this piece here, it'd just be kind of hard to make that look good. Where now I got this like this, now I can just cap it. Let's put a little piece in here. Do you want to shut that welder off for a second there? Yeah, I've lost, lost my marker somewhere. What? I see my marker now. Let's do this. Just guessing. It's got a round spot there. We're guessing. Cut this out. Get the wheels off. It's a work in progress, he says. That uh, what I cut worked out really good. Let's cut this off. That off. Let's 
stick that in there. And then we'll cap it off. It'll, that, that will look good once it's all welded and ground all the way around. I'm going to knock that front edge off there a little bit. What? That's not the grinder I want. Not the grinder I want. Got a little piece of weld hanging down there I don't like. Got my piece I want to make. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Waste not, want not, I guess. I found a new toy, six inch grinder disc. Oh, ho, ho. Wowzers. That's quite a toy, that is. We'll put this piece in, and then we'll be able to say we got a good looking body mount or a uh, motor mount. Not as good looking as Jolene, but that's hot on my hands right at the present moment. Any chance you pass me advice for a sweet place here? We actually did really good yesterday getting the motor placed in place within, you know, within the hour. What time are we at now? Just over an hour. Just over an hour. I'll put this piece in, then we'll call it. Just so everybody, you know. Stop it. There we go. Now, that fits on there good. Um, we have to scrape that metal off there a little bit. Or scrape that mount off. What I'm gonna do is I really can't. Doug, will you do me a favor? Will you pass me that exacto knife over there, please? Thank you. Just gonna scratch a little paint off that. Well.
doesn't weld so good with the paint on. Good. Maybe we tritties. Looking good there. I'm all right with the gap right there. I like that. But what I'm going to have to do. Okay, knock it on right here. Buff it down a little bit so it fits better. We'll weld that down and around here. Now, if we take a look at it. I got a little place I want to, I got I just put that, put a little stud in there to make sure it stayed where it was going to stay. What I'll do is I'll make another little piece like I did on the front. You take a look at that. See how I got it on the front. So this piece is laid on here, welded on here. This is 3 16 very, very, very strong. We've got 14 gauge welded here. Then we got it welded down here, which is gusseted in there, which is closed off in the front, because this is. And then we got it closed off in the back with 14 gauge, so that is not going anywhere. And it does not look bad. You know, it's, it's kind of a, a big box, but there's nothing haggled and jaggled about it whatsoever. I think it looks better than the original mount myself, to be honest with you, coming out and, and uh, the way they had it. Um, but we'll close it off on the back side, and then when it's painted, it'll look, it'll look good. All right, everybody, if you like what you see, throw in a good comment. If you don't like what you see, you know what to do. Um, take what you like, throw away what you don't. But um, like, subscribe, come back. We'll be here tomorrow. And uh, we've got the motor and the transmission geared up in this thing. So um, basically what it's going to take is some time to get the, the mounts welded in there and uh, some cleaning up of the engine and, and get it. I might have to do something to the firewall, but you come back and we'll show you exactly what we're doing. All right, everybody, have a great day, and <clears throat> keep your fingers and your hearts crossed for Nova Scotia, because um, a lot of people are probably in disarray, no doubt disarray, because of the wildfires that are going on, and, uh, you know, keep them in your prayers. Have a good one.